guys, this is Zelda Star 228, and we are back with another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we actually went through the trial. Um, I do want to apologize, I missed yesterday, but I, the only reason I missed yesterday is because I got home, I was about to do it, and I fell asleep. So yay! Um, so yeah. There's the basic... Knowledge of what happened yesterday and why I wasn't there. Where is it? Crap! Why did you do that? Why? Why are you so mean to me? Hey, buddy! Dang it! Stop! Alright. Oh, now you show up. Now you show up. Sticking. Bastard. Okay, this is officially irritating me. How? What? Oh! oh. Really? That's not gonna work out. Um, let's go this way. Stay away from me, you little electrocuting bastard. Alright. Um, so right now we are actually trying to get here. So I'm just gonna put a beacon there. Or here. Whichever. Alright. So basically, we're trying to get here. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make my way over here, and I will be right back. Alrighty, guys. I am actually here. I went ahead and set a beacon. If I don't, I don't remember if I did that while I was doing this. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this guy out. Alright, so now all we need to do is try to get across here. Why did I do that? Why? What's wrong with me? Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get all the energy I can, go here, run as fast as I can. Don't know why I'm singing a song. Singing a song for you. Singing a song. Singing a song. Oh my god, not this bullshit again. Alright. Alright. Try to take your time while you're going through here. Just make sure you don't take too much time or else. So now that we are actually over here, I am going to go ahead and save real quick. Doesn't take too long. Um, and now, it's very easily shown that we are trying to get up there because of that door and the beacons up there. So what you're going to do, you're going to get your claw shot. Oh, I did that completely by accident, actually. What? Okay. Alright. So now, if you don't want to have to do that again, um, you can just push this over, and he will... It will be easier for you. So you don't have to do that again, and it will be a quicker way up. Um... Now, we are here. What you want to do, grab onto this, actually, and go up. 
And there you go, we are going to head into this unknown area, which is obviously because we've never actually been here, which I love this area, like, mainly because you actually start to meet new Gorons. You never start to meet, you never meet any other Gorons except for this, well, a couple other, like, you, you don't meet any new Gorons until you get here. At first like, glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here. I will just keep on looking. So your name is Link, I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? Come on, that's the easiest name in the universe. Sweet girl, I remember now. I read something about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Linero Sand Sea. <sighs> Alrighty. Ooh, I see a claw shot. <laughs> Ooh, a key. Wow, for the first time we don't have to go through crap to get it too. Technically, we don't. If you think. We didn't have to do much, okay? Jesus. I'm gonna go ahead and get some hearts. So, you would not happen to be interested in excavating, would you? You are, well then. Well then. You are going to love this. No, I just wanted more hearts. These guys. Um. The thing is, these research digs can get really expensive, but they can also... Any interested in, in investing 10 rubies into my... Sure, I don't care. Thanks, I will, be, I will put these funds into good use. Yeah, they're going to the lottery. Anywho! <laughs> Butterflies! Let's get our bug net. I know, I'm going off here. For the first time in the universe, I'm actually doing something other than crap. Other than, well, this is kind of crap, but whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Rawr! This is what I do. If I, if I get annoyed, I usually just go like, meh, whatever. As you can tell, I actually caught some tumbleweed while I was off camera. Come on. Yeah, like Oh, he flew away. <laughs> Why does everyone hate me? Ah! Really? You make it that dramatic just for a horn? Jeez, Alpito. Some bob. Yes, I know. If you watch, yeah, I know. I was like, we just did that in the temple, actually. Yeah, okay, so right now we are actually going to go ahead and... Why is this... Oh, I don't care! Shut up! Jesus. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and um, center this real quick. Okay. Why is it doing that? What the heck? Alrighty. About eight minutes, maybe, maybe about ten. Nah, maybe about nine. I uh, a report. This Lene was sandy though. I didn't- I never realized that it had a mustache. Laneiru Sansi. It is actually kind of hard to get here. Well, to this area. Unless- wait a minute. I remember it being hard, but whatever.
Oh my god. It's too bad you can't just Z target this entire time. I don't think I can make that. Oh. I don't have to. <laughs> Come on. Stop this nonsense. Alright. Now that we are here, I'm going to go ahead and save again. Because, you know, once again, you never know how safe it could be to just save. Sister took me to Panera before I did this. What the crap? Hello! Hey, there's the mustache dude! <laughs> I actually never realized he had a mustache either. I'm gonna do it that way. Uh, oh my gosh! Turn the sand into water! Oh. Well, yeah, turn the sand into water. Sweet! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Okay, so what, we can never actually go back? Alright. Let's talk to this dude. After I talk to this dude, I'm gonna have to go. Um, so yeah. Hmm, who are you? Who am I? I am Aquaman! No. <laughs> Alright. I am the proud shipper, oh, skipper of the ship that protects the Nehru's flame. For weep. It was the day of the storm, for we, my crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. And then those brutes, the pirates, suddenly attacked us. They were after Nehru's flame. My crew was impo imprisoned, and I was and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I, t I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering what, where, where they, where, where they, my ship could be. I bet they had my hat. They tur they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. Actually. <laughs> I need to hurry up. Come on, come on, stop talking. Basically, he says that the, the ship can turn invisible. I'm not gonna help him right now. I'm gonna go ahead and, um. <laughs> no way. And I'm not letting you on board. And you won't be able to get anywhere without getting on this boat. Alright, I'm gonna have to go, guys. Um. So, yeah. In the next episode, we will go ahead and go and help this dude find his ship, and we will make our way to Nehru's Flame. Bye! <laughs>